This is crazy, but here's my number. Yeah, so they go. You didn't even do the call me maybe. So call me maybe. All of the lights, all of that. So to clarify, you didn't get it from a tampon. No. All right, welcome back to another sauna sessions of the show. In the sauna today, we have Cheryl Slender. How are you, Cheryl? Good saunas with Shay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. There's no advertising. I hope there's a, not a storm coming though. There's no advertising in that, but I feel like we started with advertising yeah, straight away. <laughs> I should just let everyone know that um, it, for the people that are listening, uh, Cheryl just uh, held up some a bottle of water that my partner had made for me last week with the label. What does it say? It Shez? says sauna sessions with Shay. It cost her 12 bucks, and I said it's the best bloody present I've ever got, bar none. For and 12 I bucks. I don't drink water. Yeah. <laughs> But she, this water is very refreshing. Well, you came in to the sauna, and I think you're the only person to ever come in the sauna with Coke. Uh, so I have frozen yep. Coke from McDonald's, <laughs> and I also have post-mix Coke from Hungry Jack's, <laughs> just for flavour and variety. <laughs> now, Shez, the reason I got you on the podcast and, and wanted to have a chat is because um, I've always held you up here on high regards uh, for everything you do. You've got a heart of gold. You're a person who's just got um, these amazing qualities, this amazing energy to make everyone f- around her feel awesome. Uh, you've always had that about you. But also the fact that you just do some crazy shit that is really good for you and really good for your your mental and well-being. Um, I wanted to like sort of dig in and, and just see what makes you tick to, to do those things. So just so for the audience at home, You've done some stand-up comedy? Yes. Right. Now, what made you jump up on stage and say, I'm going to give this a crack? I think there's not many things. Oh, firstly, I will mm. say, yep. you are a mirror of the people around you. So thank you for the lovely true. comments. But it is true. But you are very similar in the mm. self that well, you Well, thank you very much. Lift people up and do crazy stuff too. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I think the reason why I did that stand-up comedy, there's actually once a year mm-hmm. um, around Australia, it's called the Raw Comedy Festival. Yes. Yep. Um, and you can, if you're a beginner and you've never made, uh, I think you've made up to $500, you can, um, from comedy, you can actually enter and do stand up comedy. You gotta be an amateur. Try it. You gotta be a beginner. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah gotcha. Level. So I'd never done it at all. And mm. it's at um I did the heat at Paddington at Sit Down Comedy Club. Okay. Um, and I literally just, you know, I had so many months to yep. prep my yep. thing and I literally did it the day before or two days before. Well, you prepped. I wrote my script because so you... I procrastination, left okay. it last minute, okay. took a day off work because I was sick yep. um, and practised <laughs> all day and then went and then I stood up and I think... That was like a sick sick. Like, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, sick because yeah. I was nervous. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think the reason why I did it was because not many things in life scare you. Mm. Right? Yes. And I'm like, the thing with comedy is that when you get up there, yep. your job is to make people laugh. Yeah, you've got a big responsibility. If you get up there and no one laughs at your joke, yep. you failed. Yeah, you Like, that's it. Yeah. So it's... I literally just tried, um, wrote some stuff out. I yep. actually did prep a little bit. So a month prior, I did go to, I Googled like a comedy yep. course or something, and there was like a one day comedy course okay. at NIDA. Yeah. Um, in Sydney. So I went down and did that for fun. Oh, you flew down? Yeah, to flew down to yeah, Sydney. Okay. Um, yep. Did that for a day. And literally, that was the only help and practice I have. But okay. it, it was awesome. Like, it told yep. me, like, what I needed with jokes and structure and things like that. And you learn off other people as well. And that's pretty – I wrote a lot of stuff there. Yeah, But yeah. I refined it the one, two days Well, before. I saw you. You sent me the, the footage. And I thought, you've got some great rhythm, great timing, and you had that, that comedic – aspect that I've never seen like from on a stage from a stage point of view yeah, and it's you, scary you know though yeah. like because yeah. it's literally you're talking usually about yourself and your own life yeah and yeah. trying to relate to people trying yeah. to make people laugh yeah. I mean I did invite um, a few friends so that helped as well yeah, yeah when yeah. I came out because they're gonna laugh because even if it's not funny they're gonna help well it's funny you say that because I know a few people have done comedy and they tell no one because they don't want anyone rocking up, having a few beers and either, you know, giving, like, obviously any friends that go should laugh, even if it's not funny, yeah. you know, just to help you there out. Were, there were some people I didn't tell because I was, yeah. like, you know, embarrassed. But yeah, yeah. I did try it again. 
because I obviously didn't make it to the semifinals. Oh, hang on. You've had a second crack at it. I, I did it again, yep. but you should also not do it like, you know, after you break up in a relationship or anything like that. Well, maybe you should. <laughs> maybe it's the best way to get it off your chest. Emotional. But this, yeah. I, this was like years and years and years ago I did yeah. this. And, um, did the yeah. breakup come into your material? Yeah, it came yeah. into my material. But yep. I think because I had friends there, they didn't get that it was meant to be a joke. They thought oh, that it was okay. serious. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, no, it's meant to be a joke. Yeah, but, yeah. It's like yeah. how Taylor Swift writes in yeah, her songs about yeah. exes and stuff and like, good luck being Taylor Swift's ex. Yeah. yeah. Um, the other thing that you've done that was, uh, I thought that's pretty bloody cool, is you did a retreat for, what, 10 days and didn't say a word? Is that right? Yeah. So it's actually a silent retreat, yeah. at Pom- uh, silent meditation retreat at Pomona. And okay. it's a Vispassana right. uh, meditation retreat. And it's for 10 days, yep. which actually is... Is 12 days when you count um, how many days you're there. Okay. And you literally cannot speak at right. all. But it's not just words. You yep. can't look at people and smile okay. like anything. And the reason why I did it, firstly, is the challenge yes. of doing it because we always, oh, you're not allowed to have a phone. Okay. So you're not allowed TV. Are they taken off you at the front desk? Yep, you, yeah. When you check in, you, yeah, yeah. you like all that stuff. You're not allowed to leave the premises. So okay. no TV, no phone, no electrical, no books, no writing wow. instruments. Okay. So it's literally you and your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how long did it take you to quieten your mind down and say, forget about... I reckon two days it would yeah, have well, taken yeah. me. Because you can imagine like <clears throat> the way we are in our environment at the moment, we always have a phone. We do. We yeah, have yeah. Netflix. We have our friends, yeah, everything yeah. like that. So it was the most amazing experience, though. It was the best sleep yeah, I right. had ever had in my life because it was completely dark. You're at Pomona out yeah. in the wilderness. Okay. Like you're in like proper beds and cabins and yep. stuff. Um, you're eating all healthy food and everything like that. Yeah, that's so vegetarian. is it like a buffet? Of, yeah, like, it is. For food? It's, yeah, it's a buffet. Okay. But everything is structured. So the okay. meditation times are structured. Your yep. own time is, you know, you can yep. have your own time. And if you don't want to go to the group meditation, there's parts that you can stay in bed and you might want to sleep and you might want to reflect oh, with right. yourself. Okay. Yeah. Yep, you can go for walks around the, um, you know, the. Okay. Yeah. The, the where courtyard. you are, yeah, yeah. the courtyard, and everything like that. And there's, you know, kangaroos there, and it's actually free. Yeah, oh, yeah, you, have you to can, apply, you can um, but they just leave ask them for a, a, donation. a donation. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the donation doesn't have to be money. You can come back and do some um, work, like give them help. Your time. With, yeah, yeah, give them your time. Yeah, awesome. Or what if you're gluten free or something? Like, in you know, how do you communicate that at the at the buffet line? I think most of the stuff is like they they've got gluten free stuff yeah. all outlined and everything. You just like hate to that. see someone that didn't speak up and say, "Oh, like I'm intolerant to that." Yeah, and then no, they, end they up on the you floor. do that all at the start okay, and right. everything like that. Yeah. But everything is pretty much like yeah. vegetarian and vegan and, yeah. and super healthy and organic. Okay, so how did you just how did you come across to do that? Like you, you just go, fuck it. I'm gonna do oh, that. I've had friends that did it, but I think for me, like I'm Catholic and I go to mm-hmm. church, you know, um, some Sundays at the cathedral in the city. Yes. And yeah. it's that one hour where I just get to sit there without my phone buzzing and looking at it and yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like work emails and friends yep. calling or going out. Um, so I thought, you know what, what a challenge mm. to actually put yourself in a place that you can't leave for 11 days. Well, you can if you wanted yeah. to. Did, did people leave? People left, yeah. girls and guys. So I think we had about four to six girls that left. Wow. Um, because literally, can you imagine you're sitting there in silence and you know, you you forget things. Like you're like, oh, I forgot to do this at yeah, home. I forgot yeah. to email this. I forgot to pay this bill. Yep. And, you know, there was a girl there that she missed her dad. She was missing her dad's birthday. So she ended up leaving early because she's like, no, I want to be there. Um, but some people just honestly. This sounds like, sound like excuses as yeah, well. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But it's, it's <laughs> literally, it's 10 days. If you can't do it for 10 days yeah. and be by yourself yeah, yeah. and just, you know, be with your mind. A lot of people can't be with their mind. That's why they put, very disruptive. do yeah. things to keep themselves busy so they don't have to think about whatever. But That's that true. 10 days, yep. I came up with the most creative, like random ideas of things I wanted to do. And I didn't have a pen or paper to write it down. I see. So literally as soon as, I know it's bad, but as soon as I finished, I got to my car, like I had my phone and I was like writing all the notes down yeah, in yeah, my yeah. head, like of all the things so I didn't forget. So there's nothing in um, the, this is Minty by the way, is just Hi, joining Minty. us. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, you've got a little headpiece on you. Hi. 
it's um so you can't take anything with you. There's no pens, papers, Nothing. anything. It's literally yeah. You, I mean you you know you've got your clothes and yeah, yeah. you know all that sort of stuff. No jewelry. You're not allowed okay. to wear jewelry because they don't. They want everyone to be even. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah. Like yeah. there's even can you throw a frisbee girls. like in is nothing? There, there's, there's no downtime. Oh, there's no exercise. No exercise. You can only walk around the perimeter. Yeah, like right. Like as in the but it's beautiful. Mm. It's gorgeous scenery and everything. So how did you like come that. out of that? Did you just see the world going? A million miles an hour, and you're back here. Just you pump the brakes, and you just you just watching things go by, and go, well, that doesn't mean shit anymore. Like yeah, this. there's things that you're like, oh, it doesn't matter, but then mm. things you realize that really matter yeah. to you as well, yeah, and yeah. things you're like, oh my god, all these ideas. Like I had an idea to write a kids book, and yeah. you know all that sort of stuff that it just come every all your ideas because it's got time to come. Can to you, you can you divulge on the kids book? What, you, what did you want to yeah, write? Yeah, well, on? every after lunch, yeah. um, it's called the tree and me. Yes. Yep. And after lunch, um, I would go and sit under this tree. Yeah. And it's basically like the tree is like a symbolism of life. Yeah. Like yeah. a house. So, for example, it starts with a young kid. Yeah. And the tree is small. Yeah. And the tree gets older. And so does the kid, but the the kid turns into like a Buddha. You need to write that, right? <laughs> oh, it's written. Is it written? Um, but it's it's all rhyming as well. But yeah. basically, the tree symbolises that it weathers storms, yeah, as yeah. we do in our life. Yeah, we're deep. And yeah. um, you know, sometimes you lose your leaves. Yep. But then you grow new ones. You do. You know, like mm. us as humans, yeah. we you know might lose our hair, our teeth, shed but we some grow bark. New ones. Yep. And then you know, sometimes you might get people that come into your life, mm. like for example birds come to a tree yeah, 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 and then you know like feed yeah. you or you know yeah not use you but do you know what i mean whatever so the, the tree and then they go and it, it's just uh, the tree evolves as we do yeah as humans and the tree is a metaphor for life yeah from, from and from us beginning and to ending. Life. Yeah. yeah yeah wow but it's always and you know like i imagine like a dog coming to a tree and peeing on it yeah yeah well, and that's being part like of... whatever because it's part of life there's people that are going to pee on you how many times have you been pissed on yeah <laughs> i've been pissed on a few times you know oh, yeah not but, probably you know but, that, yeah, you yeah. know what i mean like yeah. there's a funny yeah, yeah, sorry. yeah. And, but it's us growing and because tree like they last for you know hundreds and hundreds oh of yeah years yeah, yeah. And, yeah did i tell you i wrote a kid's book no it's called upside downtown right and the premise of it was I remember being in um, uh, when I was a kid in mum's bed. Yeah. And I was looking up the roof and I could actually see myself walking upside down on the roof. And I, there was no mushrooms or anything involved, right? Are you but sure? literally, I'm pretty, <laughs> I think I was seven. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but I just remember how cool would it be if we did everything upside down? Yeah. And I could see myself actually stepping over like the, you know, the door frames and yeah. all this sort of stuff. Yeah. And then, but wouldn't it be cool if we ate? Like oatmeal or some shit on the roof, you know, but everything was upside down. But anyway, and basically, it was like, you know, looking at the world in a different way. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, why didn't you write it? I've written it. Yeah. So, why haven't you published it? Yeah, good question. Yeah, yeah. What's well, there? It's, it's, <laughs> I, I'll, I'll have to get the. No, it's, it's, it's coming. You know Look what? Yeah. Like the comedy, yeah. the time is now. Yeah, it is. Right? Because <laughs> you can talk about it in another 10 years on another podcast and go, I wrote this book. Like, yeah. you yeah, just yeah. got to do things now. It's the well, same with what. the comedy. It was the same with the meditation retreat. Just try it. And yeah. if you don't like it, go to the next thing. I'll tell you what, I'm going to write a note. And next time you're on the podcast, the book will be done. Have you, okay? Are you drawing it as well? Or no, I'm, I'm, yeah, I no, used to be okay right. at it, but now I'm just a stick figure yeah. kind of guy. Like, even with film stuff, it's just like stick figure, hangman, you know? Yeah. Um, it's like, a, I'd like to be. I used to be really good at art when, like, I did yeah. art class. But yeah, now I'm not. It's just I'm not, horrible. Yeah, I'm art, just a quick. So. Yeah. But my longest friend um, mm. from school. I don't know if you know Stevie from Year Two. Stevie, Stevie no. um, Hepburn. So okay. she's actually going to do the drawings for us. And oh, okay. I had I had the idea actually at the retreat. I was there like, I would love to do this with her. Yeah, yeah. And um, then I told her about it, and she was like, Oh, I was thinking of writing a book too. It was just it was meant to be. <laughs> literally the universe. So how many so. more epiphanies do you have on a ten day retreat when all you've got is yourself and your thoughts? Like, do they run? They're running um, scheduled like meditation sessions and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You literally, I think, meditate for like twelve hours a day. Shit, every yeah. day. Wow. But like I said, there were some days that I so how many? I didn't how many go started? There. I just slept in my bed for yeah, an hour right. or two because I just wanted to. 
Do you know what I mean? Because you're yep. actually sitting there. Mm. When you meditate, you're sitting on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I get, and I just I, want to lie down in bed. That gets hard for me. Like yeah. I've, I remember actually doing a Buddhist like meditation thing, and I couldn't get up. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, literally, I had, like I was with Kerry, my brother's um, wife, and she had to pull me up, and I'm like literally dead legs. Yeah, yeah, nothing. straight to the physio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But honestly, when I came out, like mm. I'll show you a photo, but I um. I FaceTimed, obviously, my partner, Michael, but yeah. uh, fiancé, Michael, um, and Emily as well. Is he your fiancé? Hey, do you not look what? like Facebook? Yeah. What? He proposed in Switzerland. Check this out, everyone, uh, if you're watching from home. Like Shay. Shay got engaged too. <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah, on the bridge um, from Crash Landing on You. The How Korean long ago was that? Thing, uh, September. Fuck, congratulations. Thank you. There you go. I had no idea. Oh, jeez. No idea. So I... you've been at a meditation retreat. <laughs> You're not on social media. I haven't been talking <laughs> for 10 days. I don't, know, I don't know what's going on. Do you follow the news? Yeah, yeah. You do? I don't. As in like Palestine, Gaza? Oh, a little bit of that. I mean, I just do you watch the news or... Um, sometimes, no, like yeah. sometimes, not really. I do yeah. feel like a lot of it is skewed. Agenda, um, it's kind of yeah, yeah, for their yeah, yeah agenda. not yeah. the Palestine stuff. Obviously, I think that's kind of me. Like I, yeah. um, I, I, I just I tune out very quickly. Yeah, like with yeah. that sort of stuff, I like to go straight to the source. Yeah, um, <clears throat> you know, like Motaz Aziz, he's yeah, an yeah. amazing journalist and photographer. That's See, in Gaza. like the thing is, even with you getting engaged, I'll find out eventually. <laughs> uh, but maybe three years later. <laughs> Yeah, I'm married. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but it's like, you know, like if David Bowie or someone dies or, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, you'll yeah. find out about it. You know, Michael Jackson passed away. Yeah. He, he's not. He's still moonwalking. <laughs> <laughs> That's my one regret. Wait, have you got a regret of a band or a solo artist that you didn't get to see because they passed away before their time or too I soon? I think it would have been awesome to see Michael Jackson. I think he was just great. He would have been epic. Yeah. Like, for yeah. his dancing. And Can you imagine music? him moonwalking 30 metres across the stage? And just like I, I think he had. He's like I saw the doco of him at fifty. Yeah, trying to I haven't seen that one. It's not the same twenty-one-year-old moonwalking. Like he's just like this elastic guy at twenty-one. Yeah, at fifty something, it's you know, it's still good, but not as you know, like not when you're twenty. Smooth. When you're twenty, you just you can you like rubber. You know, things just move very easily at fifty. Fuck, if I can, you know, moonwalk at fifty, we're going well. You know, yeah. Can you moonwalk? I used to be able to. You should give it a go. Yeah, not in the sauna. Sauna Shay, <laughs> moonwalking with Shay. I just, put, I just put my butt to the camera and just go straight backwards into it. Yeah. I cannot moonwalk. <laughs> you can't. Well, you can. It's just it's practice. You, yeah. Yeah. You can you dance? You're a dancer. I can. Oh, I think I can dance, but okay. you know, friends have imitated me. I don't know. It doesn't look like. I hope it doesn't look like that. But like Elaine, yeah. you don't no, know, like no. I pretend that you know I'm in a like film clip. Yeah. And yeah, there's yeah. like three other dancers behind me doing exactly the same thing. Really. Right. So, yeah. You and you're Beyonce. Oh, look, yeah. I'm definitely not Beyonce, but I try. <laughs> so my question to you, with doing yeah. things that are out of the box and everything, yep. we're at the end of the year, it's Christmas, mm. we're wrapping up. Yep. 2024. Yeah. What is your thing that you're going to do next year and push yourself, time is now, and try something new? Good question, Shez. Uh, it's... I think definitely getting back into my own business, running mm -hmm. my own business, my own show again. Uh, I think it's something, again, you spot on. Time is of the essence. And I just, and what part of the business? Like, be specific. I th Look, what I think it's going to be is actually... So then I can call you out. Yeah, call me on it for sure. sure yeah, 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 yeah. So the 44 scenes with um, children. Yeah, so awesome. writing writing films for kids, uh, but showing them how to direct, edit, and um, like do the whole kit and caboodle because I can see a lot of kids that are wanting to do that stuff and they just don't have the guidance but I'd you know if if someone was to do a course that I put together and they became Steven Spielberg I'm like job done you know so but I think there's a lot of kids that are so creative and they've they're just spewing out of their heads yeah. and but it's just sort of bringing them back on the path and you know yeah, but and showing them stuff. And fill your cup up as well. Oh, for sure. No, it's usually. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. So, all right. You can call me on that. So, podcast number two. Yeah. Fuck. I've got to have a book written. Yeah. <laughs> and, and published. And published. <laughs> illustrated. Not a draft thing. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, and, have a, and have a million dollar business yes. by the time you're on podcast number two. Awesome. All right. You're on. Let's make it happen. You ready? Yeah. You ready for my 2024? Let's do it. Something I've never done before. Yep. Now, this is probably the most craziest, scariest thing that you've ever Okay, heard. let's hear it. I am going to make you and Sari an auntie and uncle. Really? Mm. Congratulations. 40-year-old is pregnant. Wow. <laughs> 
That's why I couldn't do. That's why I couldn't do the ice bath, and I was like, "Don't have the sauna <laughs> too high. You're gonna cook my baby." Shit! Why yeah. don't you want some champagne? For fuck's sake! <laughs> well done. That's amazing. Yes. And you just like told everyone on the podcast. Yep. That's crazy. Gonna be a mama. When's so. that, okay? When it when's, is very scary. But, holy um, hell! Yeah. So when's that happening? May so due date is end of May, May twenty nine. So Gemini. Yeah. Wow! Wow! <laughs> so you got engaged in September, and you got a baby coming in May. Yes. This is an exclusive, everyone. <laughs> an absolute exclusive. Not even her best friends know about this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at the camera for. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. I'm so happy for you. That's brilliant. Sarah's going to be chuffed. Sarah's yeah. going to be next. Yeah, yeah. You never know. <laughs> Podcast too. You you're never like, Chef, know. I'm going to make you an auntie. <laughs> I might get Sari on. It's like she'll she'll say, "All oh, right, before we get be back on podcast number two, we're gonna have a baby, another a house, yeah, a book." It's like fuck. All right, we and got a some, business. We got some work to do. Yeah, all yeah. the bees. Oh, I'm so excited for you. That's amazing. <laughs> what the hell is there a third one that you want to throw in there? Nah, that's all I've got. She's got a kid coming along, and you're getting married. Holy yes. shit, that's awesome. That's amazing. Like, yeah, it's, all, it's, like, it's like all the other questions are happy. You don't really fucking come. <laughs> I was like, how am I going to tell Shay and shock him just a little bit? <laughs> yeah, well, let's go into the questions. I uh, do need to take this robe top off. It's really hot. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So just for a bit of context, everyone, um, it's, uh, Shez actually said to me earlier, I can do some method acting. Yeah, right? I was and, like, don't um, have the sauna don't too hot. Don't have the sauna I'll do too method hot. Method acting. Yeah, yeah. Never actually twinked, uh, <laughs> twinked that she uh, could be pregnant. Yeah, no, there you go. And then Shay's like, come on, Shez, do the ice bath. Everyone does the ice bath. It's awesome. I'm like, I love an ice bath. I'll do it after, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was just that was one question I had for you. If mm. like now that we have turned, like, just for the safety of the baby, everyone, we've turned the sauna off. <laughs> And then I was like, I need to tell him at the start because if I do it at the end, I don't know how this is going to Because my cousin actually said to me, and I think I can say this, she, I said, come up because she loves saunas. Yeah. I said, like, come up for saunas. I said, like, man, what? I can't. And I was like, what? Well, because I'm a dumb dude. Right? Yeah, yeah. I was like, what the fuck? What's wrong with you? Man? Haven't you watched David Goggins and all that sort of shit? Like, fucking man up, you know, and get your ass up here. I was like, no, I think I'm, I could be pregnant. And like, oh, what? <laughs> that's an exclusive. Yeah, that's another exclusive. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> all right, so we just turn the sauna off because we <laughs> We're don't pretending yeah. it's hot with saunas with shame. Because I actually thought I actually wanted you to do some method acting and show me like <laughs> now and I'm gonna go Ooh, through it's hot. Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I but need a glass of I thought, Coke. I thought, um, can you give me a, uh, a method acting um, like person in a sauna that, that's, that's turned off yeah. but has to act very hot, right? Yeah. But that person is very, say, confident and sort of um, gruff. Yeah. Would you know how to method act that? I'll try. Okay, Are you, you going to do it too? Yeah, yeah, me? I'll try it after you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Just let me know when you're ready. Do you want to count down or do you just want to uh, wait there? No, I'm good. I'll okay. just go in. All right, when you're ready, go for it. Yeah, yeah it's it's... Pretty pretty cold in here. Can you turn it up a bit more? Oh, okay. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. far out. Do you have any more towels? Just because, you know, I like touching myself <laughs> my face with towels. <laughs> It's great. It's not hot at all. I'm just about to take off my. This is this is the this rest is, of my room. This is method one hundred and one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, your turn. If I was to do it. <laughs> oh, we're grunting. Like gruff, you know. Yeah. Oh, you said oh, okay. I took confidence. Sorry. Hey I'm Stephanie, good. turn it up. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's not hot enough. Oh yeah, I broke character. Sorry, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> more more uh, more eucalyptus on the rocks, Stephanie. Fuck, come on. Gee, 60 degrees, you're kidding? Beef it up, motherfuckers. All right. Do you have you done improv before? <laughs> Probably when I was like two. Yeah. yeah. It's good fun though. Yeah, a long time ago. Yeah. Once you get in the zone, yeah. never have done improv. So hard to go to sleep later that night because your brain's just yeah wide about all the things that you could have done, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Probably and- my improv. You you do it like when you're in the car and you have a good song. Yeah. And then you know how you're singing the song like you're actually the singer in the song? Oh, for sure. And then, you know, when you look out the window, obviously you're driving, so make sure there's no cars that are doing stuff in front of you. But then you pretend that there's, like, a camera and then you look at the camera and then you look away. <laughs> you do that, right? Like, you're in the film clip. I get it, but I don't – um, so what's your song? If you oh, were to... there was a few. Okay, yeah. give me one, give me one. I don't know, like um, I, I did Dilemma with Nelly and Kelly Rowland on the way here. It okay. just came up because I had an R&B okay. playlist. I've got two. 
Yeah. All right, one's Call Me Maybe, Kelly Ray Jepsen. Oh, that's yeah. a good one. I, now, see, I'm not a lyricist. So can you can you sing it? Just that Call Me Maybe bit? How do you do the Call Me Maybe? How do you do that bit? Call Me Maybe, how do you do that bit? But now you're in my way. I don't know the rest of it. Um, no, but do you do the Call Me Maybe? Do you do it, like, in that way. tone? Your stare was holding, ripped jeans, skin was showing, <laughs> hot night wind was blowing. Where do you think you're going, baby? Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy, but here's my number. Yeah, so there you go. You didn't even do the call me maybe. That's so not call even me a- maybe. <laughs> It's hard to look right at your baby. Yeah, so that's what I, I'll do that song in the car. You sound, yeah. And the other one is um, um, the one I do kind of know the lyrics for is uh, Paul Simon. Um, uh, what's his favorite? Oh, what's the name of the song? And now I've kind of forgotten it. It's um, uh, he's got Paul um, Chevy Chasers in the film clip. I have no idea. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the one. I know. Man walks down the street, says, yeah. wow, my strings. Yeah. So those two songs, for some reason, um, when they come on, I do need Paul Simon singing back to me because mm. then I'm more, you're always more confident with someone else singing it, you know. So, yeah, all the words that you muck up, you don't feel like you do muck them up. Yeah. But I'm also one of those guys that sing, you, you know, the song, um, standing in line to see the show tonight, leave a light on, oh, heavy yeah. glow. So with that, I used to sing, ooh, ah, oh, kiss you in a meat tray, ooh, ah, <laughs> oh, kiss you in a meat tray. And it's like, they're not the words, and I you know that. I feel like you're needing to sing, Shane. Like, <laughs> you know, this is all you're doing. I feel like you just want to keep going, keep going. What well, is no, yours? No, you were talking about you're, like, you're singing songs. Yeah, so, well, well, mine are like the Mariah, like, oh, okay. the Ce- like Celine Dion, like power ballads. So I even like- do a bit of like Andre, but I think it was Andre. Bicelli and Celine yeah. Dion, but I can't sing in Italian, so I pretend <laughs> like, oh my god. But if you're doing Mariah in the car, like you can break yeah. some glass. Yeah, yeah, like, she it's gets good. up high. Well, do you remember like Amigos para Siempre from no. Barcelona Olympics? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Amigos yeah, yeah. para Siempre, <laughs> yeah, you'll always be my friend. Like that shit, I love that shit. Like, <laughs> but that's that was good. Yeah, Thanks. yeah. But um, yeah, like uh, Mariah Carey, like her. Do you, do you get into the Christmas carols? Because yeah, I love the all I want for Christmas is you. Fucking great song. Yeah. I could actually listen to that in January. You know that yeah. plays in the clubs now? Not that I was at the clubs, but yeah. Nelly, you know, yeah, yeah. Tenille King. Yeah. She was at Eaton's Hill there you on go. the weekend. There you and go. she said it was playing and it was pumping. What is, it, is it the dub version? No, no, like, it was like the legit, like the Mariah, the, oh, like, yeah. yeah, the proper, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, whatever the commercial one is at yeah. the moment. But the thing I love about it's that such song a joyful is song. people like, uh, like we're, that are 40 plus, yeah. whatever, and then all this young new, next generation, everyone loves it. Everyone gets on. And well, dances. see, uh, when we did the Beast Pass, everyone still loved Michael Jackson. Yeah. Like Michael Jackson is just there's a legacy there. So there's some music that just hangs around, and it won't, it's not going anywhere. You know, so Mariah Carey, I think, like oh, I know, like so, do you listen to like Jingle Bells and like um, Christmas carols? Yeah. Do you listen to? Um, What's All it? the time. Buble, Michael Easter, Buble. I listen to Jingle Bells. Do you? <laughs> All the time. Who the hell listens to Jingle Bells, Shane? I listen to Jingle Bells. I love what, it. What? You just go, oh, hey, sorry. Can you put some Jingle Bells on? I don't need to even ask. Mate, she I just, don't she just goes you. straight into it. She goes, you. hey, Alexa, play some Jingle Bells. <laughs> play Jingle Bells for but Shane. You know what it is? It's, it's the actual Jingle Bells. It, it's, it's warm and fuzzy to mm. me. When I hear Jingle Bells, it's just like, yeah, where's where the fuck Santa, you know? And where's his reindeer? And this is like, I just want to see kids, you know, and I love lights. You know, so when we put lights up for Christmas time, I feel warm and fuzzy. Do you know when you said, I love lights? Yeah. Do you know, in my, in <laughs> I my lo- head, I you love go, lights. I love lights. I love and lights. And in my head went, I love the lights, I love that. Do, 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 do. You know that Kanye song? Oh, I don't listen to Kanye, oh. but yeah, yeah. Yeah. But no, it's, it's old school. I it? love the lights. Yeah, I know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll forget it. <laughs> now, I do have another question yes. for you. Um, you were the uh, the national finalist in the Spec Savers, Spectacle Wearer of the Year Award. Can you explain that? What's that about? That was when, like, it was probably about 15 years ago, 20 years ago even. <laughs> but um, this is for wearing spectacles better than other people. Spectacles as in glasses. Yep. So Specsavers had this national competition. Yep. And they had, uh, I think, one person from every state or something like that. Um, they had finalists and they flew them down. Yep. Oh, you had to send in a photo of yourself wearing glasses. I had to, yeah. yeah. No yeah. contacts. And I wear that glasses. Yep. So I normally wear contacts but I wear glasses at home yep. um, unless my eyes are like 
being okay. stuffed up from contacts. Then yep. I'll put my glasses on and look a bit librarian. And then anyway, so they, yeah. They it's picked... a certain design of glass too that are, you know, like if you were wearing aviators or something. It's no, no, saying. they it's need be to be glasses. the like n- prescription, yeah, prescription gotcha. glasses. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you had to send in a photo. Mine got selected and plus answer some questions and gotcha. stuff. Gotcha, yeah, yeah. Um, yep. And then I was selected for Queensland and then they flew, I think there was about six of us, they flew us down to Sydney. Okay, and we had interviews with like the marketing department of Spec Savers, okay. Alex Perry. Yeah, we yep. met. They did a full um, makeup, hair, yeah, and yeah. it was a really old school vibe um, okay. theme of outfits. Um, and it do was you, done do, at the Darling. Do you work, walk into that foyer and you can say that bitch? She's coming come seventh. She's not going to oh, win it. Yeah, but everyone, honestly, <laughs> the, everyone was gorgeous and yeah. fun. Yeah, like yeah. it was okay. it, like you know how sometimes modelling like at such can be a bit. Be arch, oh, like yeah, 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 for sure. But these guys, we were all just normal, just yeah. having fun. Like you're in a competition and, yeah. for wearing glasses, really good. You must be. <laughs> everyone must be light-hearted about everything, you know? Yeah. Oh, it was. Yeah, it was cool. But they, they honestly, they were all gorgeous guys yeah. and girls. Yeah. Um, okay. But beautiful people. No one was horrible. Who won it? A boy or a girl? Um, it was a girl that won it. Okay. Uh, Did and she, she look like was a from Melbourne. She looked like a librarian with glasses on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But in, I'll show you the photo. But um. Like, because when I think of a librarian, I think of someone with glasses on because they've been reading all the time and they need something to, you know, they're long Everyone looked like a librarian after yeah. that shoot. There you go. Because it was so old school. Like, yeah, it's almost yeah. Gatsby as such, but yeah. maybe a bit of an earlier era. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then we all had interviews, as I said, okay. with them. So it was interview, but then it was the photo shoot okay. as well. And um, yeah, then we all stayed at the Darling. We all had like an event there and then yep. announced the winner, and the winner got to go to LA yeah. for a week and there's this famous actress with blonde hair. I can't remember her name. Um, off do, have you got to head. wear spectacles the whole time of the trip? No. No, no. okay. Uh, but, yeah, you got to do a, do a photo shoot over there with gotcha, her. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, she was one of the I wouldn't know how to enter that, you know? Like, you just take a photo of yourself and answer the questions of okay. why you like wearing spe- <laughs> spectacles. And then that's it. <laughs> because Obviously, I, I had a good answer. Because I thought, okay, because I, I, like, I knew what questions I wanted to ask you today, but when you jump on the net and you Google someone's name, <laughs> the shit that comes up, you know, I know your ABN, I know your middle name, <laughs> right? but all this stuff that I, and the spectacle thing came up, the competition. You're, You're like, in, what the hell is this? I didn't even know she was engaged. Yeah. I can't believe engaged. I didn't even, my engagement picture didn't even come up. <laughs> the engagement yeah. picture never came up, no. Oh, yeah, you didn't check Facebook, clearly. I so. didn't go to Facebook because I thought, no, there was nothing there. I want to <laughs> I want, to, I want to go to the dark web. I want to see what's out there, you know, on, on shares. That's that's all mainstream, you know. Let's uh, let's 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 get some dirt on shares, you know. Yeah, and there was a uh, like a Mount Coolum like newspaper. Yeah, it was article when I was living at the Sunny Coast. There you go. Yeah, yeah, so, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, I don't want to leave you in here too long. Because- no, it's all right. <laughs> Fine. I'm Fine. seriously like, fucking man up, says for fuck's sake, right? Yeah, pull your ball, balls out and throw them on the table. But we're not going to do that anymore because you're pregnant. So, yeah, we won't have that. That sounds really weird. What's that? Like, you're pregnant. Like, oh, I I'm still like coming to, tour. like, it's just, yeah. You're not the same shares anymore. You're a different shares. No, shares. I can't party anymore. I can't have Toblerones anymore. Do you know, like, do you know what my cravings are? Uh, I have a, I have a... Uh, an inkling. It's Frozen Cokes from McDonald's oh, there you go. and Hungry yeah, yeah. Jack's Whopper Junior Value is minus pickles and tomato. I heard Every you. day. You were on the phone today to me and you're like, oh, excuse me, can you just leave the pickles <laughs> off that burger? <laughs> Yeah, I ordered a cheeseburger thing because yep. it was a snack. Yep. And so that's but your hankering. You just, I don't know why. It's the yep. only thing I can keep down. So yeah. when you remember how I had toxic shock syndrome? Yeah, yep. no, but okay. Yeah. So wow, is, are you okay? Is that yeah, what happened to your I, I face? I think so. I'm a little bit fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit, little bit sideways. That's why we're profiling, right? Yeah. Um, it, Shay asked to be put on that side, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah That's yeah. my side. Yeah, like, I don't know why. It's because it's, it's yeah. for the ladle. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, because yeah. the ladle from yeah. this side. It's like it's always been my side, though. I've done all the interviews from this side for some reason. Next, You know podcast too, I'm going to go with that. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll fuck things up. Bless you, know? you. Sorry. She just, she sneezed. <laughs> um, <laughs> I would, I have, I'd get up at 1 a.m. and go get frozen yogurt ice creams from the night owl. I just, when you to. were pregnant, was when that When I was your... pregnant, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so when I had toxic shock, yeah. it cleared everything out, but I had these cravings. So I remember being in hospital and my uncle, for some random reason, bought up a whole thing of Pringles. Yeah. And at one point, two five litre bottle of Coke and I just devoured both of them. It was the best freaking thing anyone could give me. And you were good or perfection? 
Oh, no, it took about a year and a half to recover. Yeah. But it's like I, was, I was on my ass for a long time. Sorry, I have to yeah. ask, how does someone get toxic shock syndrome? Tampons, yeah. Did we use – where did you use no, a tampon? No, no, no. So women generally get it. Oh, right? I know so that's, that. But that's why they were, like, perplexed because I was, like, drumming at Dracula's at the time. So yeah. I had a rash in my arm. Um, I was on some bullshit painkiller because mm. the rash was bad. Yeah. But it was the, basically wiped out my immune system. Right, and then a mosquito bit me right on the arm here. There's like yeah. a little um, entry point, and that just started the infection. So the mosquito found the entry yeah, point. Yeah, 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 and that's how it and sort got of it. yep. And then I woke up 11 p.m. one night and just convulsing, and it was just right. Of course, so to my clarify, veins. you didn't get it from a tampon. No, no, okay, no. Okay, cool. Because yeah. when I asked how did yep. you get it, you said yeah, yeah, tampon, yeah. and well, I'm my, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it was. I didn't know your name was. It, it was a Saturday night, you know. Was, and, uh, uh, Shaya. <laughs> yes. Shaya of Smith. I like to yeah. go by Shailene. <laughs> <laughs> Shay. Shayza. <laughs> well, look, Shez, um, I appreciate your time and thank, thank you, you so much for coming on the podcast. Um, can you do the uh, the honours of the final ladle? The final ladle, yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure it's starting I hope to cool next down. Next time you go and do that um, Holy meditation shit. retreat. No, oh, I will. I will. Um, it won't be too. Too steamy. Shez, you're a bloody legend. Thank you so much for coming on the Thank podcast. You for having me. And, um, yeah. and this is my first sauna while pregnant. Although it wasn't on, <laughs> so don't worry. There's no harm. It's all good for all the people like, you shouldn't do that. You think I would have picked up on the fact if something was going on, you know? Yeah. As if I would never go in an ice bath. Don't, like, yeah, seriously. No, when would other... I ever say no? I know. And that's why I was like a bit perplexed. Jeez. Yeah, because I had no idea about the engagement, no idea about the pregnancy. <laughs> and look at that. See what happens in the sauna? And by the way, Shay's engaged you, and the story is amazing. So you have to stay hear tuned. The story. We'll, we'll tell that one in podcast mm. too with um, with Shay's. But Shay's, awesome. love you so much. Thank you so much love for coming you more. on. The, yeah. Thank you for having me, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and all that sort of shit. And uh, we'll see you for the next podcast very soon. Sauna sessions with Shay and Shay's.